first carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. On the tackle, it's Randy Gregory. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Here's Newton now on second down. Oh, powering his way forward. And the hit charted loose. It's incomplete. Open back. The beauty of being able to play a zone now. defense when you can sit back and see the ball Come coming back. out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates now. a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Escaping the pressure right. Now he'll let it go deep right. Oh, oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's going to be marked down deep in Dallas territory. A fantastic connection that time. Newton to Funchess. And even 60 yards. <laughs> The first red zone opportunity for the Panthers thus far. It's first and ten from the twelve. Newton gonna hand it off to McCaffrey. And he's gonna fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Second down. Here's Newton. Oh. And a flag comes in as that one flag. falls incomplete. Oh, well, let's okay. see who this is on. Clearly wasn't outside of the tackle box. There's your penalty. And accompanying that penalty, a loss of down. So now it's third and long because remember they also lose a down on the grounding call. the gun. Here's Newton. Buying time to his left. And that will be caught. But out of bounds. Out of bounds. Ruled incomplete here. This Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Brings up fourth. Fourth down and here's Graham Gano now in the field goal unit for the Panthers. From the right hash just a 34 yard attempt. And Gano's kick is right through. And the Panthers stay claim to a 3 nothing lead. So our initial drive of the night ends in three points. Maybe not exactly what this home crowd wanted, but they'll take the early lead. They will take it. You're exactly right. Everybody wants a touchdown. But in this case, good opening drive, put points on the board. And a lot of coaches do believe the first team to score in the game, statistically, often ends up the winner. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there. Second down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. On 
Second down, Elliott. And an alley to run. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Eight yards on the ground there, and now they're looking at a third and two. Elliott in week one, that loss to Carolina, he had 15 carries, 69 yards. He did have a score as well. The Cowboys offensive line, tight ends, they have to spend a lot of time in practice now working against loaded boxes. The ball popped in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Captain Mutterland. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. Carolina ready to take the field again. And, you know, the Panthers, that big week one win against Dallas. Now they run into a tough one in week two. They're at Atlanta. you got to remember, Atlanta is both angry after the week one loss, and they're well-rested. Yeah, after playing Thursday to six, so it's almost a mini open week for them. Get a little bit of extra time, but they've got their own concerns trying to get their offense cranked up. I can't wait to see how this one turns out. And don't forget, Hurricane Florence hitting the East Coast. Well, that wrecked preparations as well as Carolina tries to get ready. Newton to throw. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Taco Charlton in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. So now Cam leads the Panthers up following the sack. Carolina facing third and long. A shotgun snap for Newton. Looking deep downfield. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. A great play there. 33 yards. And the Panthers add on to their lead. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Gano out to kick this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one, and what I like about the message is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. Over the middle, the connection to Hearns. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Dak fighting the former Jag Hearns for the Dallas first down. First and ten, Prescott. Man open left side, it's Williams. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Give him a couple on the catch, it's second and eight. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there, swarming to it and not allowing that to happen, did not let him get downfield. 
So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Setting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. They've got a second down and eight to start things out. shy of the 45 in on the tackle there Luke Keekley. one thing to keep in mind partner especially in the second half when you've got a running back of this size of these dimensions I can just tell you attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half maybe not so much in the second half and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later Short yardage, Prescott. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Well, this is how you shape the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw 10 interceptions in a row, I'm going to stay confident, keep flinging it. I'll just figure there's something wrong with the football. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Four down, four down. Check. Four down, four down. Here you go. Reset, reset, reset. Reset. Here you go, 47. Prescott from the gun. Forced out to his left. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. When in doubt, do it yourself as he keeps it for three and a first down. The last drive, remember, similar situation. He forced the ball into coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. Prescott. He's got the connection to Cole Beasley. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. yard line here it'll be a three yard gain and that'll bring up a third and one four-yard line. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. With the struggles we're seeing up front for the offense today, they've got to think about changing up their play calling. Some screens, some draws, some quick hitting plays in order to try and supplement the run game. You don't totally abandon it, but you try and give it a little bit of help. And this one is right down the middle. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10-3. to three. 
Well, that's something of a pick-me-up, but the offense certainly has struggled, but they do get the field goal before half to put three on the board. Yeah, you don't want to be shut out, but let's face it, those three points, that's not going to solve all their problems either. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. They're starting to put some space here. You know, the first quarter, they didn't look so hot offensively. This second quarter, though, they've looked really good. They've jumped in the saddle in a big way now, and now they're in full gallop. I mean, before, <laughs> kind of cantering around a little bit, right, trying to feel their way, not getting done what they wanted to. But somehow they put it together with play calling, execution, and now there's a pretty big gap. And they'll look to make that gap even bigger here. remain here in the first half back with more from Charlotte after this <laughs> this is Newton off the play fake to McCaffrey by Funches. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. The Panthers on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. From the gun, Newton. And the third down pass falls incomplete. Those passes at that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. Pilardi now on to punt as he sends this one away. Here's Austin. It'll be a 10-yard return following a punt of 45. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. Mm -hmm. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they've got to make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. A gain of three, second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Dancing to his left. A good decision in the end to pull it and run. Get some nine yards and a first. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. down throw for Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. Only three there on the screen at second down. The Cowboys looking to get going again in a hurry. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. Going for his running back and he's got him complete. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Give him two yards on that play, and that's going to bring up a third down. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Denoris Searcy. Timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. 
And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Now following the interception, here's Newton being chased out left. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. To throw on second down is Newton. Flushed it. And this is going to be intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Here's Prescott. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. He was looking for Terrence Williams that time. And that'll bring up second down. Defensively, after that first down play, so they're going to make this offense sweat out half number one. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the twenty. Now he'll let it go deep over the middle. And this one is incomplete. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. The Panthers out in front, and they will get the football first. Second half action underway. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Eluding the pressure right. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Well, partner, of all the great things that we saw in week one, unfortunately, there was some bad, quite a few injuries. And the toughest one, Delaney Walker with that knee injury, he's gone for the year. Yeah, and that's really, really difficult for the Tennessee Titans to absorb because in a lot of ways, he's their number one target. He may play tight end, but he was the security blanket for Marcus Mariota. He'll be gone for the year. Greg Olson with the Carolina Panthers, he left the game in a walking boot. But an injury of the same foot that was surgically repaired last year. And then there's some other injuries like Leonard Fournette with Jacksonville, Marquise Goodwin with San Francisco, Deshaun Jackson with Tampa Bay, Doug Baldwin with Seattle. And don't forget Keanu Neal with the Atlanta Falcons. He got hurt, came back, left again. He's gone for the season as well with an ACL. Only a yard on the pick up there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. Partner, when you're not able to run the ball successfully, it really messes everything up for an offense because no longer are you setting the tone and dictating the game. If you do want to throw the ball, play action's kind of gone out the window because they don't respect the run. And last but not least, 
You don't get to dictate it all when you want to throw the football. And that really hurts you as an offense. Oh, and now movement and a whistle. And they may have to rethink their plans on fourth down. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. This is taken around the 12. It spins by. A good return there, 17 yards. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got the lead. Yeah. We got the, we got the, got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense <laughs> and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see what the offense gets done. Looking to throw on second down. Newton, they'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Jalen Smith, the Notre Dame man, in on the tackle. Say what? Nah, dude, I'm playing this online game. I just sat the quarterback, but since I fucking tackled his knee, they gave me fucking roughing the passer. And I fucking... They'll take the handoff. Now Newton steps away to his left. And seeing nowhere to throw, just he chucks this one away from hard, and incomplete. The pass, now it's third down. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays Walmart. to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another nah, Aaron I just had to beat on like a fucking third and 20. He sacked him. The guy on my way. Throwing on third down, Newton. Yeah. Buying time to his left. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And good hustle here as this is going to be blown dead right at the nine-yard line. Here's the Dallas offense now, heading back out onto the field. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. And he'll find some room to get this up to about the 14. Captain Munderland, the one who made the stop. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Well, the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Prescott now on second down. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides, where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? Forced out to his left. 
He can run for it, and he will. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. Now that definitely hurts because the mindset is getting a three and out there, and they don't get it done. They give up the scramble and a pickup for a first down. <laughs> Closes quickly. He'll only get up to the 22 yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. When we talk about Luke Keekley, you can't talk about his overall game without talking about his intelligence and how he controls the whole defense. He quarterbacks that defense and at times will actually make checks just like a quarterback would on offense to get him into the right defense. They definitely were on that play. How about that finish? Holding that to a minimal game. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Call it an eight-yard gain. Much better shape now on third and just a yard. Mm -hmm. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Final minute now of the third quarter. Scott looks to throw on first. Caught left side, Williams. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. The give is to Elliott. And he's brought down. 11 more yards that go around. A first down as well. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he's going to be stopped here for no gain. And that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter of play. Prescott off play action. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Julius Peppers in there to get him for what will be a loss of 13 yards. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. Good, good, good. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. And an alley to run. The scramble good for a nice gain of 10 yards, but still fourth down. I thought he did a pretty good job there to get back what he could, but let's face it, that sack on second down, about throwing a wrench into the works. He certainly did. Yeah, he did everything he could there, trying to pick up some positive yardage, and he did, but not enough. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This will be spotted just shy of midfield, a 59-yard attempt. <coughs> They're not enough juice, an ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, they'll be disappointed with that effort. Cam's going to run the option right. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. 
No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. On second down, McCaffrey. And he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory. Tackle made there by Chidabe Awuzie. Mm -hmm. well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run yeah, because man. everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy yeah, carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. One of the bigger mm -hmm. plays in the game Wait, thus far. Sure, the crowd yeah. getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Check, three. Out of the gun, Newton. Looking for the out route, and he's got more. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. down. This is McCaffrey. Oh, a nice spin. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Demarcus Lawrence in on the tackle. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. to the ground. This time it's Anderson. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Now the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession, so they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. time for a break we're back to see what happens after this this is third and two maybe the biggest play in this football game they'll try and pick it up in McCaffrey and he will lose yardage back to the 34 yard line and now right out of the two minute break We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. And Gano's kick is right through. And they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13-3. So his second field goal of the game, and that could turn out to be the big one. Yeah, you have to make them score twice to beat you, and that's not impossible. But here in the fourth quarter, puts their backs clearly against the wall. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And out now come the Cowboys. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Yeah, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. 
But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Press got it to throw. He hits Beasley right side. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Short play like that in this situation this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. Here's Prescott. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Swear. 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 Now Prescott. Out to his left. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Another carry tonight for the workhorse, Elias. And he's going to be out of bounds down inside the 20. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Well, that last run makes this a 100-yard night. I've loved the way he's hit the holes. He's been quick, he's been decisive, and he's been a whole lot of fun to watch. Finally, a first red zone opportunity for these guys. They have a first and 10 at the 18. Again, it's Elliott. And he's got this one down to the 10. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. The Cowboys looking to get going again in a hurry. Now Prescott, this will be caught at about the five. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now, as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. Push back to the 11, and here's second and goal. He'll get it up the middle. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. So look at this. They'll go for a field goal now to get within a score. This to get it back to a one-score game. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they will cut the lead back down to a touchdown now at 13-6. to So now with little time remaining, they'll have this and maybe one more play. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. And this one going to wrap up with Cam Newton going down to a knee. 
Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory.